Welcome back to another Power Slap Entertainment video. Okay, no, that's not a good intro. Today, I wanna to talk about buffness, AKA gains, AKA girth, AKA skeleton clothes, AKA body armor, AKA swollenness, AKA adopting a child and eating them in order to become stronger. Well, scratch that last part. See, the thing is, I wanna get buff but I don't want to do it for conventional reasons, like for health or to get a girlfriend. I want to get buff purely for stupid reasons. Let me give you an example. Let's say that one of your friends tells you that they just discovered a dinosaur fossil last Saturday. You're going to have a lot of questions like, what kind of dinosaur was it? You're not even a paleontologist. And weren't we supposed to hang out last Saturday? On the other hand, let's say that your friend is super buff. You won't even question it because there's always the inherent possibility that they might punch you in the face. I want that friend to be me. I want to get buff just so that I can say something stupid and have everyone claim it as fact. I want to be able to talk to someone and say, hey, did you know UCLA pirates all their copies of Microsoft Office? Yeah, that's why they have so much money, bro. It's all a giant conspiracy by the Illuminati to charge students for Microsoft Office. Who really profits from all these membership fees? The Illuminati, bro. Why do people even go to school? Education? Nah, it's Microsoft Office. It was Microsoft Office all along. We're slaves to the system, man. Why do we even go to college? We go in order to gain a piece of paper that ranks our level at something? And what do we do with that piece of paper? That's right. We use it to get work in an office. Illuminati confirmed. The person I'm talking to won't even question me. My pecs would just scare them into submission and they'd just nod in fear. Sure, they'd have their own opinion, but the fact that they didn't express it, it would lead them to believe that they subconsciously believed that what I said was fact. And I think that's awesome because it brings me one step closer to world domination. I mean, what? Another reason I want to get buff is just to feel like, yeah, if that guy tried to mug me, I could kick his ass. I'm not sure if I'm the only one that does this, but whenever I see someone walking towards me, I run through all the possible scenarios that this person could kill me. Are they hiding a bat? Why is their hand in their pocket? Is that a gun? Oh, it's just a bottle of water. But what if that bottle of water was filled with human melting acid? Nice try. Being buff would just add that extra layer of security. If they tried to fight me, I'd have like a whole layer of body armor. If I got stabbed, I'd just absorb the knife with my ab muscle. And if I got acid sprayed on me, I'd dissolve slower than normal, and I'd probably be able to still kick some ass at the last second until I can find like an anti-acid potion or something. I think I might play too many video games. I'd want to get buffed so that I can be that weird guy that does the peck dance at awkward moments. Funeral? Peck dance. Got fired? Peck dance. Car crash? Peck dance. The peck dance, for those of you that don't know, is when you move your chest up and down individually of your body. Personally, I've been lifting for about a year and a half and I only have maneuverable control over my right tit. The left one requires more effort. So sometimes I just stand in front of the mirror pre-shower and I try to do the peck dance while listening to eccentric K-pop from my 2010 iPod. Honestly, sometimes the only thing that keeps me lifting is the thought of one day being able to successfully pull off the peck dance. One day, one day. Finally, I want to get buff enough to the point where don't worry I'm buff becomes my catchphrase and solution to all of life's problems. Oh, I can't move this fridge. Don't worry I'm buff. My cat just died. Don't worry I'm buff. Help, I can't. I, I, I caught the flu. Don't worry I'm buff. Help, I failed my chemistry test. Don't worry I'm buff. Help me. Santa is not real. Don't worry I'm buff. Help me escape from this prison. Don't worry I'm buff. <laughs> Help, I need three dollars. Don't worry, I'm buff. Help me, my crush doesn't like me. Don't worry, I'm buff. Help me, I'm buff. Don't worry, I'm buff. Help me, my house is on fire. Don't worry, I'm buff. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, lifting or just doing exercise in general is a fun hobby and I definitely recommend it to anyone because it makes you feel great. At the very least, buying some dumbbells and doing some push-ups and crunches will make you feel even more aesthetic. If you ever meet me and we can both do the pec dance, best believe we're doing it to some music on camera. That is my number one goal in life as of right now. So if you can't do the pec dance right now, I challenge you to go out, get buff, learn how to do it, find me, and let's go. All right, let's go. Anyways, to catch more of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video because it really helps a lot. Also, if you're trying to convince a friend to start lifting, feel free to share this video. Maybe it can inspire more people to be pecs flexing weirdos like me. I'm gonna go now, but check out some of my other videos. Watch them until you can't blink. Also, leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm gonna start featuring all the comments that I get in the video. So to my four subscribers, I won't forget about you guys. We're doing it. We're going to the sun. We're gonna crash in there and we're gonna make it happen. All right? Cool.